first question has to do with the dredging of rivers. Yes, we, so uh, the major rivers, dredging of the major rivers. Um, dredging of rivers is the responsibility of Nigerian inland waterways. So what we are doing is to have a synergy where we ensure that our dredging activity gets to where they will pick up from to ensure that there is easy evacuation of cargo. But that plan is being worked on. There are so many tributaries and distributaries. You can't just go dredging everywhere. There needs to be a proper map, location, and they will need to find some of the shortest places. In some instances, rather than following the river meandering around, it's better you just cut through, reduce navigational time, and so on and so forth. But we are working with NIWA, and um, we'll give them all the support. We have a, a hydrography department. We have a dredging unit. They are very well equipped, well experienced. Uh, it's, it's as old as the Nigerian Post Authority, actually. And we'll give Nigerian inland waterways all the necessary support they need. We have been collaborating with them. That is already ongoing. Um, the half year result given is because naturally in accounting, you take quarters. So I took that as a half year. But of course, revenue has been generated in August. We can uh, send that to you. Now, the boys' technology you are seeing. Uh, why can't we? So at the point of uh, of stealing it, they feel for it. It has a sensor up there. Can you bring up a picture of it, please? I wish I can show you. So from the top there. So immediately after the main ion at the top is actually a solar panel. Some of them have solar panels. And then you have the sensors, and there is a beacon light there that flashes at night. So the first thing they do is to vandalize that sensor, and then you just have ion that has no life. And they can just you know, drag it, cut out the sinkers, and what have you. Um, that is what they do. We can monitor it if it is, if it is not, uh, if it is not uh, 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 disconnected. Let me use that word, you understand. So that's why we actually can find those that have gone adrift, those that have been taken away by nature, as long as they are not destroyed. At times, we send in our boats to go around scouting for it, and to also be fair to the communities. We have had some instances where the buoys were naturally taken away by nature. They went adrift. They ended up at the shore of some communities. And to be fair to them, they have actually called us a couple of times to tell us there is a buoy that has gone adrift and it is in our community. And we thank them for that. We thank them so much. We believe most of the individuals involved in this, probably the communities do not even know they are involved in these uh, activities. Um, so yes, yeah, so we are monitoring the buoys, and that's how we, got to, we get to know how many are stolen. Any day a buoy is stolen, because the captains are also, our captains are taking vessels in and out of the channel. They will naturally know that I can't find the beacon on this buoy. I can't find it. Something is missing here, and they normally uh, report it. In terms of uh, Orne being the fastest growing, now, if you, even in our cargo throughput, what I'm saying is, in terms of percentage increase, half year, ONE has done 11,800 metric tons, half of this year. We are seeing that the increase in percentage is high, probably because it's easier to do business in ONE now. And of course, naturally, because we have deployed more equipment in ONA, more personnel, we have paid attention to ensure that we make the port more competitive. So that's what I meant by that. In terms of export also, there's an export processing terminal within ONA itself. One of the terminal operators created an export processing terminal, which we licensed. And they have all the equipment, the technology, and the processes to send it out. One of the op uh, terminal operators also expanded their terminals. They have spent about $100 million in terms of uh, terminal expansion. Uh, that's West African Container Terminal. And so they have created more stacking areas. They're able to collect more cargo, and they don't have uh, space problems, actually. And they have newer uh, we, uh, equipment. They have cranes. They have RTGs, and so on and so forth. So probably. If you are able to send in your cargo and clear it faster, naturally, I mean, in Onye, you are likely to go there also. Um, yeah, the issue of inland, inland ports, 
Nigerian Shippers Council is responsible for the setting up and operations of the inland port. However, I know that there is a collaboration between the inland ports and our terminal operators. What we have requested the terminal operators to do is to enter a relationship with the inland ports so that an inland port, say, in Ilorin, in Sokoto, or in Onitsha, or wherever, can use, let's say it's an Onitsha, it, the, so the port of destination will be Onitsha, but of course it will naturally come through one of the ports in either Lagos, or Papa, or uh, Tinkan. So that relationship is there. Some of them are, are talking with uh, APMT, others are discussing with other people. There are issues to do with the tariffs, and also in terms of payment, uh, the issue of charges for uh, uh, empty containers, because of course they will use containers to send in the cargo to the hinterland, to the dry ports. So these are issues that are being discussed. Some of the terminal operators have requested for bonds from the inland dry ports. Some of the inland dry ports are saying, don't charge us double, reduce these tariffs. And because for the inland dry ports to be competitive, their costs should be as minimal as possible. And um, we, we believe that, um, that, that that collaboration has worked. At least DALA, we all know, uh, started operations and uh, we are seeing activity uh, has increased there. The dredging of other ports, of other rivers, um, I have answered that. We, so when you dredge other rivers, what you have done is you have increased the length of navigable river path throughout the country. And we are working with Nigerian inland waterways. They are doing their studies. We are working with them. But for now, what they are using is barges. They are using barges, for instance, from One to Onisha. Uh, they are using barges to other locations, which we keep encouraging. And uh, whenever the need arises, we will be, we continue that collaboration to ensure that the dredging of those um, rivers takes place. Thank you.